Hey Pisces, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading to see who is paying a little bit too much attention to you Pisces. So I do these readings just to help Pisces understand the energies that they're feeling around them. Sometimes when there's someone who's really thinking about us really hard with good intentions, we can sort of sense it, right? Some people are more sensitive to others, others pay more attention. But when there's other people who are sending us really bad vibes, we may also feel the negative effects of them and not necessarily understand where they're coming from. So that's the whole point behind this readings. I want to pretty much uh, ask for guidance from spirit and for us to be aware of who's around, who's thinking of us a lot, who's paying a lot of attention, what their intentions are, and how we may be feeling because of that. Okay, so that's the whole point of these stalker readings. Um, also, guys, the Energy Protection online course is available for you. It's really, really awesome, I gotta say. And it touches a lot on these subjects as well. So if you're interested and you would like to learn a whole lot more about it, you can check it out. It will be in the description box below. It's $49.99 right now. Alright, so let's begin. Let's see, universe, who is paying a little bit too much attention to Pisces? I'm hearing three people. Four people. Three people, four people, three people, four people. <laughs> Alright, so I'm feeling that mainly this is three people, but for some of you there's a fourth. So I'm going to do four, okay? Universe, who is the first person that's paying a little bit too much attention to Pisces and why? The star. Okay, so this could be an Aquarius person. This could be someone who is sort of like a superstar themselves, or they see you as a superstar, Pisces. They see you as someone who is um, on the public eye, perhaps, if that resonates with you, take it. This could be someone who is who has lots of tattoos. This could be someone who's very original and authentic, someone you actually like very much. I don't know if you know them very well, I feel like it's mostly someone that you know from social media, or they know you from social media or something. Could be an Aquarius. You fulfill this person's wishes in some way by being yourself. So it's like, if you're really authentic and you have chosen to do something out of the ordinary for a living, for example, um, it's like you're, you're sort of like a hero to them or something along those lines. This person could have a crush on you, Pisces, okay? This person could have, um, you know, they, I don't feel like they have actual hopes to be with you, but this is, person, this is a person who kind of like sees you around and they're like, wow, you know, Pisces is awesome. Like, I would love to be with Pisces. This is also a card of Gemini. So with Aquarius and Gemini, I would throw in Libra in there just in case as well because of the air sign combo. <laughs> Um, this person definitely, I feel like they could be like a friend of an ex or something that maybe you never really met or spent time with, but they sort of knew who you were because you dated their friend or whatever. And somehow you ended up in each other, in each other's like Instagrams or social media. They would actually like to talk to you, Pisces. They have wanted to talk to you for a really long time. I don't think that it's necessarily about romance. However, I do feel like they would love um, an opportunity with you in romance. But I think that they actually want to talk to you more about business is what I'm hearing. About your ideas, the way that you handle yourself, the way that you do what you do. You, maybe your originality, authenticity. They want to sort of like pick your brain on certain things. They find you very mysterious, very interesting. <sighs> Those who have cats will understand and not even need an explanation for that. <laughs> Prince of Swords. Yep. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is an air sign here. Okay. This person, this person is a little obsessed in their life 
about making things happen fast. They, they have a thing with speed in their life, in their own manifestations. This has nothing to do with you. This is about them. They tend to be someone who's very laser focused, someone who really wants um, their goals to come to life almost instantly. They have a thin patience for this, okay? And they see you manifesting your goals quite quickly, or so they perceive. They want to know how, and they want to do it too. This could also potentially be an ex-lover. Like, for those of you who didn't resonate with that at all, another whole different possibility could be that this is an ex-lover. That's an air sign. Yeah, three of pentacles. This person is interested in collaborating with you, Pisces. Teamwork. Um negotiations, supporting each other. They are very sexually and romantically attracted to you, Pisces, but this is very minimum in comparison, very minimal in comparison to what they feel you could both build together work-wise. So they may not even mention the romantic part. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, that's there, whatever. Like, like that's not really what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is to understand, Pisces, how you're building what you're building, how you're doing what you're doing, because I want to do it too. Something along those lines. Take it if it resonates. Alright, who is the second person? Three of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be someone who's waiting on you, waiting for your answer, waiting for you to come through with something, a confirmation signature, paperwork, decision, payment, could be a Libra, we got justice, lots of air energy coming in, someone here is waiting I feel for you to pay a fee or pay something that is owed to them, oh yeah, so, my cats are going crazy. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like someone here is waiting for you to pay something that you owe. They're patiently waiting. They may feel a little bit confused as of to why you are not coming forward as quickly as you could. This could be any other um, sign as well. This could be just someone who's waiting for you to make a choice that will bring them justice or benefits. This person could be in a position of despair. Maybe they're waiting for your help. They're waiting for your assistance. And they're confused as to why you are not um, giving them that justice right away or as fast as they perceive you could. But they're being patient. They're trying to be fair. Ten of Cups. So this is someone who loves you. This is someone who cares about you. There's good feelings here. Um, this could be a family member, a friend. This could be a lover, a partner. This is someone who cares about you, okay? They're just waiting patiently, a little bit confused, um, for you to maybe help them get out of a tough situation. For you to bring justice to them. They perceive you as someone who can get them out of that situation somehow. Maybe you're a lawyer or something like that. They may feel very confused at this time. They may feel like they're in a position of despair in their life. So they're patiently waiting. They're waiting. They perceive you as someone who has their life together. As someone who has lots of harmony, love, and good connections. Universe, who is this third person paying a little bit too much attention to Pisces? Seven of Discs, Perseverance. Okay, someone here admires your perseverance. Someone here is has observed you through thick and thin, going and building and building something. Okay, so maybe some of you guys have started a business. Maybe some of you guys have started to get healthier or fit. 
maybe some of you guys had have um, started a relationship that has gone through ups and downs and is now manifesting into something beautiful whatever it is someone here has seen you and your progress your perseverance your determination your patience and they feel very proud of you this is someone you have no contact with i mean it's definitely someone you know or you have shared time with at some point of your life but this is not someone you're currently talking to but they see you and they see the growth they think you may be gay <laughs> I don't know why. If you are, then great. But uh, if you're not, I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not getting additional information. Ace of Discs, Wealth. They feel like they have nothing to worry about with you. It's like, ah, you know, Pisces is strong. Pisces will figure it out. Whatever trouble comes, Pisces is going to figure it out. Like, Pisces is the one in the family. That's what I'm hearing. Pisces is the one in the family that we don't have to worry about. That's what I'm hearing. So this could be a family member or someone older. Pisces is the one in the family we don't have to worry about. That's kind of nice. <laughs> um, this is a card of wealth as well. This could be a very wealthy person. This could be someone who is self-made. Someone who built their own wealth from nothing. And they recognize that you maybe have that same spirit or that same sense of ambition or smarts that led them towards their abundance and they recognize that in you as well so they don't worry about you and the creation of abundance they think you're more than good with that eight of swords isolation they perceive you as someone who's very solitary per they perceive you as someone who could be who could grow way faster be more successful and be happier if you weren't so isolated okay so these could be members of your family that feel rejected by you or that feel like you always are in your little bubble away from them disconnected and they feel like you have your own beliefs to make that the case like maybe you feel like you're alone in the world or maybe you feel like you don't have anything in common with your family or group of friends and they perceive you like that they perceive you as someone who believes they're an outcast even if they're not and therefore they see that you isolate when maybe you you don't have to but maybe you like to isolate I don't know. queen of wands okay we could be talking about a leo we could be talking about an aries we could be talking about a sagittarius this could be someone who's very vibrant they perceive you to be very vibrant as well this is a very strong person. This could be an older woman who's very beautiful, who has their life together pretty much. Yeah, I perceive here that is someone who's a, who's very much a strong leader, leader, and they see themselves in you. I think they would like to spend more time with you. Queen of Cups. Yeah. They see you as someone who's very intuitive, very mystical, very emotional. They would really like to establish a deeper, deeper connection with you, Pisces. Whether this is a family member or a friend or whoever, it's like they would love to have a closer connection to you. And they sort of don't understand why that is not there already. So yeah, I'm getting the, the family member vibe. Alright, universe, who is the fourth person here for some of you? King of Swords, again, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow, there's a lot of air in this reading. So this person that is thinking about you could be someone who is very unemotional at the time, who's consciously putting emotions aside not to fall into them or make decisions out of emotion. They are really trying hard to be strategic, um, logical, to use their common sense only, you know, to be authoritarian in their own life, but it seems to be weighing on them. 
they seem, instead of empowered, they actually seem a little distraught. So, let's see who, who this person is, what they have to say. Four of Wands. This person could be feeling stressed out, feeling heavy, feeling worried, even regretful about something that has to do with marriage, potential of marriage, long-term stability. This person could be feeling regretful because they entered a commitment with someone else, even a marriage. Or because maybe they chose not to do it with you. Ten of Wands. This person is very burdened. Very burdened. So this totally backfired on them. They wanted to make a decision without taking into consideration their emotions. Pretending as though the emotions were not there. Okay. So they did that. And it totally backfired because they actually have a lot of emotions. And by making a choice that does not count on the emotions, now all of their emotions are crushed. <laughs> because in the decision-making process, they didn't recognize or didn't want to give the emotions the space that they needed. So now they feel overburdened. They feel very stressed out. They feel like an idiot is what I'm hearing. This could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Consistently, we're getting air signs and fire signs. Air signs and fire signs here. They want to instigate change. They want to take something back. They want to um, say, you know what? I made this decision with the wrong approach. I have to make it again with the right approach. They're, they're wanting to instigate a change here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who seems a little reckless to you, come in and out, come in with all these big ideas and then go out with, I don't know, something else. It's just, they seem to be a little all over the place. It seemed, that the, it seemed as though, it seems as though, <laughs> they wanted to really be strategic and smart about something and use their mind and no emotions. And then they did and realized that they actually have more emotions than um, thoughts here in this situation. And it backfired pretty much. Hierophant. Yeah, this could be something that has to do with marriage, long-term commitment. Maybe this person, Pisces, it's so strange. I feel very two opposing things. Maybe this person sees you as marriage potential or material, and they're not ready for marriage. So what they did was, okay, I'm not ready for marriage. I'm going to put all of my emotions aside, and I'm going to walk away from Pisces because that is just not what I want right now. And then it hit them like, oh my God, the fact that I'm, Considering this with Pisces means that I love Pisces and that there's so much emotions that I'm going to miss that I'm like, ah, and they get a little, you know, crazy about that and they come back. Or the other reason it may have gone this way is that they may have chosen marriage with someone, you or someone else from their mind, not their emotions. So it may have been more of a strategic thing, an expected thing, something that was expected of them, instead of something they really felt inclined to. And now they may find themselves perhaps committed to someone who's just not their person. And it may be very heavy for them. Well, isn't that interesting, Pisces? Wow. Comment below if you can identify any of these people. If any of this resonates with you, let me know. I would love to hear how it applies. Pisces, I am, I think I'm already booked um, for the personalized readings, but if you want to book one or check if there's any availability or any spots have been recently opened, 
Um, you can write to us at awakenwildchild at gmail.com. Awakenwildchild at gmail.com. That's the only way to book a reading with me, a personalized. So don't listen to anyone pretending to be me on comment sections or WhatsApp or whatever. That's the only way through that email. Okay, Dorsa, which is one of my best friends and my assistant at this time, she's going to be helping you out with your booking. There is a big chance that she may say that all the spots are already booked because I'm closing them for the next month. I'm not going to be doing them um, at least in May because we have other plans. So yeah, but you can try if you want to <laughs> see if, you know, you know that if it's meant to be, it's, if it's meant to be, if it's meant for you, it's going to happen. Pisces, check out the Energy Protection course. It's our highest quality course. We have really invested a lot of energy into making it as great as it can be. There's so many tools, so many things that you can learn um, in order to protect your energy more consciously, wisely, and even get rid of really toxic crap that may have been sent your way, consciously or unconsciously, by people or beings around you, all right? So check it out if it resonates. I'll leave the information below. And remember that even though we're not on sale right now, the prices are way more affordable than they were before. It's only $49.99, all right? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.